Hi, I'm Mike Benton for AllShadow.com, and today we're going to take a quick look at an alternative browser for the G1. This is Steel, and it's available from the Android market. While it is still in its infancy, it still offers a few features that the native Android browser is lacking at this time. The interface is basically two ribbons. One at the top, and this one I kind of have trouble with. It's your address bar, basically. Refresh button, and that's also a stop button. And then a ribbon at the bottom has add bookmark back zoom in zoom out and bookmarks and as well as the forward button pressing the menu key will take you to the options device settings browser settings privacy and data management and what's cool about these device settings is right here you can see auto rotate with keyboard I'll show you how that works right now we have it in profile mode you just simply turn it around and it goes into landscape mode and right back automatically so you don't even need to open up the keyboard buzz on key touch when you come up here to this ribbon up here and you're going to enter in something well, let's get that to stop enter in something there's an on-screen keyboard it's pretty cool it's kind of hard to uh, kind of works like some of the ones you might be used to a little bit different but it buzzes when you touch it so touch the keys. It's not the, the best keyboard on, in the world, but Google is working on an on-screen keyboard for future releases, and hopefully it'll work better than this one. Another cool setting is the user agent. Right now it's identifying itself as Android, so that brings up the mobile version of AllShadow.com. The desktop user agent brings up the full desktop version of AllShadow.com, and iPhone will bring up the iPhone version of AllShadow.com. Let's take a look at the iPhone version. This is what iPhone users see when they look at AllShadow.com. Not much of a difference, but good enough. You can also change the layout from normal to narrow column, single column as well. Change your cache. Choose whether or not you want it to save form data, passwords, and allow cookies, or clear out that data. While it works just fine, there are still some basic features missing that will hopefully show up in future releases. It's good to see com some competition for browsers on the Android platform. That's all for this mini review. Be sure to check out AllShadow.com's main page, forums, and wiki for more tips, tricks, hacks, mods, and reviews for T-Mobile smartphones. Until next time, I'm Mike Benton for AllShadow.com.